100 meters and they sprinting away. Vaz is along the inside, hop, skip and jump around them. Flaming Lass is in the red between them. Nayashima slips onto the rail, beat it white sleeves and cap. Flashy Katrina on the outer and Elle's Flaming Beauty is at the back of the field, six lengths off. The speed is genuine. Vaz by three parts of a length. Hop, skip and jump at a quarter's second. Flaming Lass is third and Flashy Katrina races in that quartet position fourth. Reminders for Nayashima. Elle's Flaming Beauty's around them and Beat has dropped out. Turning for home now and Hop, skip and jump makes her presence felt. Hop, skip and jump goes on by a length. Flaming Lass is there between them and Flashy Katrina comes out for a run. Towards the inside Vaz, Nayashima Elle's Flaming Beauty's under a whole lot of pressure. Nayashima's looking to lift. Flaming Lass, hop, skip and jump. Beat it's even got a chance on the inside. Nayashima with her customary flying finish on the outside. Flaming Lass has the edge. Nayashima's coming stride for stride and got it. Nayashima on the post, done it again. Flaming Lass beat it. Flashy Katrina in the minor spots for photos. But when it comes to Nayashima... She really spreads her wings and becomes electrified once again. Well, this horse, Nayashima, as a youngster, they really rated her, and she's now putting her hooves in all the right places, and that's on the winning post and the winner's box. Nayashima explodes through to grab Flaming Lass. Beat it runs third. Flashy Katrina, hop, skip and jump, Vaz. Nell's Flaming Beauty under early pressure. Well, picking up Nayashima, she still had three lengths to make up, coming to the 300, and we know she absolutely flies. And today it was just a matter of timing it again. And as they come to the post, Flaming Lass still had her head in front with 100 ago. And then Nayashima starts to wear her down stride for stride. And the connections, they'll take the full victory. Back to the studio. Now, Shima's got it right and made it uh, three in a row. The master of my fate, Philly, for Dennis Dreyer, Eric Byrne, Jill Dreyer, Sean Veal. He's the rider, but before we go any further, Jackson is uh, the groom of Nayashima. Well done to you, Jackson. A thousand rand that you'll enjoy. Bonus for your winner. Congratulations. Okay, it's uh, Jackson done. Let's get Stewie into the uh, winner's area. I'm going to talk to Sean in a moment. Been a long time friend as Sean, but uh, he said, Graham and I have got egg on our face, and we have. Luckily, we like to eat eggs. But uh, we did think she had it all to do today to reel off the hat trick and take such a, a rise in class. But clearly, the ability that you thought she, would you've, you've known that she's always had, we're now finally seeing it, and she's doing well. Well done. Exactly. I mean, when she won her maiden, I think she was probably rated probably a little bit high and taking a bit of time. And now she's, you know, off a competitive mark and she only wins by a short dead, so she, she never goes up, you know, she can't go up too many points. Where is Mr. Burr? Have you been in, in touch with him and the boss and Jill? Obviously, they're in Cape Town, yeah, but they'll be thrilled with these colours in the winner's enclosure frequently now, and it's so wonderful. You know, Eric's been, I think, with the boss for a long time, so just very well done to him and, you know, well done to the drivers. And I think uh, Eric's been Cape and Sheppy, I think, so just well done to him. Caliente, one more runner to come from the yard. Yeah, listen, it's a competitive race. He's not drawn very well, but, you know, he loves it around here. Mile on the poly, so, uh, you know, he's fitting well, and he'll be competitive. Wonderful. Wonderful. Lovely chatting. Let's hope we talk a little bit later. Let's get our good friend, Sean Veal. Now, lovely, as I said before, I started the interview. There's never any malice between you and I. You, in fact, you, I think, were the jockey that rode me one of my first winners. But, yeah, Graham and I thought uh, Nashima had it all to do today, taking the rise in class. But uh, you had other ideas, and clearly you, uh, you had more faith in her than we did. You know what, Warren, this filly, she dropped from a 94 to all the way to about a 72 or something. She's climbing again, but uh, at the same time, she's been winning very good races, even today. So it looks like a, <laughs> I'm going to win by two or three lengths, and she manages just to get up there. 
dying moments for the owners, you know. But uh, once again, to Stewie and his team here, flying the flag, been traveling up and down. The, we got a turn in Cape Town. I'm hoping we turn on Saturday. Hail Columbia, is it? Hail Columbia. We got Cartel Captain. Yes. Duchess of Sussex. They all got chances, you know. But uh, for me, the main one is obviously Hail Columbia. I watched the form being frank now. Horse of Candice has won the second race. Quite comfortable, and he just beat me last time, needing a run, my horse. So I'm going there with high expectations, and I'm hoping I can put another smile on my boss's face. Just well done to all the owners for the opportunity on this horse. To my boss and his wife, you know, we have our moments, me and my boss, up and down, but you can never keep a good man down. And uh, like my wife said, you're putting everything you're doing, you're doing right. Just keep doing it. Don't change nothing. And you know, she is my biggest criticist, and uh, she always gives me feedback where I need it. And uh, she always watches replays and stuff with me so she can see we are making mistakes. But getting back to this filly, well done to all the owners. They've been very patient with this filly and uh, she dug down again today. I thought I'm going to get to Tandy easier than I did. Yes. But it doesn't matter. The line came in time. It's also a blessing because the handicapper can't get a hold of her. So well done to everybody concerned, to Stewie and to Kerry. She's on holiday. So well done to them. And obviously, LG panel beaters and my wife and my two boys and two if I don't see everybody, I hope everybody has a good Christmas with their family. Keep safe, sanitize, and wear your mask, and keep social distancing. But uh, getting back to this, fully, what a good win. Well done to Stuart and the owners and to my boss and his wife. Well, well done to you because yeah, you say she's not a difficult ride, but she just does enough to get over the line. So for uh, the owners to watch and for the punters and those that have supported her, nerve-wracking moments, but for you to ride her as well, you know what she's going to give you, and you've built up a wonderful relationship with her, and well done. Yes, you know what, and we've always rated this filly, and then she, she sort of lost the way, but that's all credit to my boss. We changed a couple of things with her, and uh, it seems to be working. The one boy who works her 90% of the time has done a magnificent job with her, so I think he deserves a big present. <laughs> so he'll have a big present tomorrow. Well, so well done well. to everybody concerned. To my wife and my two boys, this one's for them. To you and your family, happy Christmas too. Thanks, Thanks Warren. All the best. Sean Veal, yeah, lovely to chat to him. Now Shim has got it one. Two, three, four, seven. That's the result of the uh, fifth race. Plenty more action to come. Two, three, four, and seven. Graham Hawkins, get the knives and forks ready because we need to start eating those eggs.